Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of the ABS Show. This is my co-host, Shio. Say hello to Miss Yazi. Hi, guys. And also the fabulous. She's wearing Versace today with a belt. Woo, woo. She's sewing cleavage. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Say hello to Miss Odera. One of those. She don't blow. She don't blow. She don't blow. And last Versace. but not the least, the uprising artist. Top, top, top. Look out for Team Money. That's right. Yes, we want, to <laughs> we want to welcome you to another episode of the ABS show. We love you for watching, but you have to subscribe if you haven't done so already. So go ahead, subscribe to the page. And guys, don't forget, when you go to the ABS show on Instagram, click on the link and make sure you vote for us for the best show at the GEA Awards. Mm -hmm. We need your help to win it. You guys got us there, so help us win it. Yes, the GEA Awards, which is the yes. Ghana the link Entertainment is in our bio. Award USA. Yeah, I awards. feel like we're going to win this for the people. Yeah. We have to win for it the for, the, for the culture. I know you guys want us to win. <laughs> so you know, when, when you go and you vote, also vote from every device. Because you can only vote once. So vote from your cell phone, mm -hmm. vote from your iPad, mm -hmm. and then vote from your laptop. Smart. And right. your desktop. Mm -hmm. Smart. All right, so let's dig into the topics. Um, Timani. Yes, this number one topic is very interesting because it's something we usually talk about here. There's a 22-year-old immigrant from Mali by the name of Mamoudou Gassama. And he did something very heroic in France. A two-year-old kid was hanging in a balcony and almost fell. He was brave enough to climb up four stories to the balcony and he saved the kid. Yeah. And because of that, the president of France offered him direct citizenship, even though he came into the country illegally. Oh. Wow. Can we, just, can we just give it to what he... faith and hope can do? Like, mm -hmm. amazing. This topic right here when I first got when I first saw this topic I was so excited because it took me back to our previous um conversation conversation our previous topic whereby um for Nigerian foreigners went into Russia and my Yazi was like why go to a, a country where you don't speak any language why go to a country and suffer this is why this there's a dream dreams do, do come true yeah, this happens. is a man that traveled to France in the hopes of being somebody Green and, and look at what happened. Listen, since, it doesn't happen for everybody, yeah. but there is like, exceptions to the rule and he's, okay. he's one of them. So since we want to take it there about what I said, I'm still sticking to what I said. Oh. And yes, congrats to this man. I think what he did was very heroic. I call him the African Spider-Man. I think what he did was heroic, but I also don't find it surprising. And that's because I grew up in Ghana and I'll never forget our house was all the way in the back. And if you know in Ghana, a lot of people build very, very high walls um, around their houses because you um, you want to protect it. Some mm. people don't want people to see inside their house. So where I lived, the house I grew up in in Chapel Hill in Takrati, our neighbor had a big wall, and our house was so big that for me to walk around my gate or, and tiring. go all you the way jump. around <laughs> was literally, like, literally, not kidding you, like a good 10-minute walk. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to do that. We used to climb the wall, which had glasses. Mm -hmm. You know, in Africa, you protect your house from the thieves mm -hmm. with the glasses. Yeah. And me as a five, six, seven-year-old, me, my sister, my brother, they would also climb the wall to come to us. So what he did was he wrote, it was a very selfless act because there were other people standing there and they were just cheering Feel on. Me. There was a neighbor right next door that wasn't even, it's like they were trying to help, but they didn't want to lean all the way because they were worried about them also falling over when the man could have just held the woman down and the woman could have leaned over. So what he did was great. However, it's not surprising because in Africa, that's what we do. Like we, we, we play. That's how we play. That's number one. Number two, let's not face the fact that when I Googled going to the Disney World in Paris after I went to the one in Florida, all that I got was black people shouldn't go there and how France was so racist and blah, blah, blah. So yes, it's great. He has presidency. He has residency in, um, in citizenship in French. He's joining the French army. But do you really think it's really going to be that easy for him there? He's still going to have to face a lot. The racism there is on a different level. At least here in America, they hide the racism. Most people can't be directly racist to you in your face here in America. In France, it's not like, excuse me, in France, it's not like that. Like, they racist right to your face and don't even care. So, I mean, when his country's president offered him the thing to the... Um, to join the Mali army, I would have taken that because for guess what? what? It's gone up forever. For no, what? I don't think so. That's rubbish. So. There was a, listen, first of all, there was a Ghana reason forever. why. Ghana there was a, or Wakanda? There was a reason Ghana why. Forever. 
first of all, there's a first, first of all, there's a reason why. I love first you, of all, there's a reason why he left Mali. Exactly. If Mali was so great he and leave. it was so powerful and it did this for its citizens, he wouldn't have left. He left because he wanted something better for himself and for his family. For me, I think this is awesome. Um, what he did was so brave. I wouldn't. I would, I, I cannot. <laughs> I cannot do that. You can't. I would just see my heavy soul just coming right down. <laughs> you know, I, think, I think I think I would have done it. With what? I think I would have done it. Yes. With I'm, what? I'm telling you, I'm a very anybody that knows me, I'm I'm a very passionate person. I'm a very like I care about others more than I care about myself. Like mommy, I would have done it. Not with this behind. It would I'm, wear you down. It would wear her down. Listen, have you seen her behind? It would weigh her down. You know, but I would have done something. I I I yeah. wouldn't have been one of those people that was just standing there filming. I would have like I know I would have done something. Yeah, if this happened know, in Nigeria, do you think people people will climb and go? They will be praying. No, and that's be hitting a the baby. Floor. No, that's a baby. That's different. Oh. That's Two-year-old baby. Different. You always want to crawl. There are many people that will want to jump down. I will be like, you want to jump, bros? Wait till <laughs> we we'll scatter butts. Oh yeah, jump. No, this but is this one is a baby. baby. And the reason why this is really awesome, we not. We shouldn't forget that this guy's status in that country was nothing. Mm. He came in through the borders. He had no papers. He could have been deported. And still, he didn't even think about all that. Yes. As a 22-year-old, the first thing in his mind was how to save this kid. Baby. And then the president of the country recognizes such bravery and offers you a position in the fire department. Mm. There's some hungry Mali president that has not done anything for you. Yes. Now wants to take away the glory. You wish. Go sit I down. Slap that president. Not you sit down. You should sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Is, oops, see, I'm having goosebumps. This mm -hmm. is just another illustration of how Africa loses its amazing people mm. to the Western they world. If you don't value what you, you have, someone answer? else will. This, this, imagine what he could have done for Mali if he had, if they respected bravery the way Macron is respecting it in France. Do you understand? And I feel that's the problem with Africa. We're not setting in morality. Do you understand? Standard. Moral values within our culture to make us appreciate things like this. In Mali, in Africa, in Nigeria, the only thing that is respected is uh, how much money you are spending. Mm -hmm. Showing up and obviously, world. because he had no money, he couldn't meet up to the status quo that's going to have him recognized as a Malian citizen of any kind of substance. He chose to find his way through the borders and leave. And now he has shown that he has compassion. Do you understand? Like He's shown that he's so such a brave, brave person, such yeah, a good and person. Such a selfless, selfless, selfless person. Selfless. And imagine, right. it, and I'm, I'm I'm sure that there's so many more Africans that back are like home that. like that, yeah. that I don't have the platform to express it. And guess what? Another thing is that, especially for Nigerians, I know that we have this attitude of, why am I going to help him? You're not even appreciate it. Oh, they do for me. Do you understand? Mm. So what you're saying that it will happen in Nigeria, they will like, you're right. I, I don't even think you're that wrong. They'll be like, chai, chai, yeah, this is so sad. But well, nobody's going to be thinking out of the box because nobody wants to risk their own life. We're not solution oriented. Yeah. You, you, well, that's right, not so generalization. One thing that I want to say too is, if this was America, the parents probably would <laughs> have been arrested. No, the parents were arrested. Oh, they were arrested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I was looking they like what happened the with the boy alone in, in the, the house. house. Yeah, wow. the dad. And where were both parents? And they were not around. They, I think they stepped out. So they stepped out and they, they, they thought he was sleeping. So a boy woke up and started to play. To work, yeah. So yeah. They, the parents are around. The baby is not even in their care anymore. Good. Good. But in this present, right, sorry, in this present government in America. If this Mali guy had done this in America, what do you guys think would have been, been given because, citizenship? Because, oh, you know, Trump... Given him citizenship. No, Trump. Mm -hmm. Trump will not. And the way he's you know really, really passionate about illegal... asylum immigrants. or something. They would have given him Trump asylum. Trump, like a, no. Trump will say, you came to my country illegally and you're climbing buildings. Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah. And he already okay. said... Come let's not here. forget that he already said that most of us are from the shit country and Mali is all in Africa. But he wasn't really lying about our shithole countries. He wasn't lying. Not that Ghana is shit, but our politicians make it a shithole because our politicians take all the money away from us and then we live in a shithole. You're missing the point. That, mm. That's not the point. The point is, this guy is from Mali, the shithole. So your point is, will America accept this man? My answer will be no. no. We're going to move on to the next topic. And we're still going to stay in Nigeria. Yazi, what's going on yes. here? Yes, finally, what? President Buhari has signed a bill that's the not-too-young-to-run bill. Mm. So now I guess you can be any age and run for president of Nigeria because priorly, I don't know what planet we've been living on. I don't know <laughs> what kind of people we are. In, they are in Nigeria because there was apparently a bill that if you're not 45, you can't run for president. And Odera was even giving me more information that 
the only qualification is what primary school, school and 45 sucks. years old yeah. like which makes no sense because if all you need is a primary school education and you don't even need a university education then why is the age cap 45 yeah i don't even well know. i gotta say that if you're living in democracy i mean based on my knowledge and you can tell me if i'm wrong i don't think there's any qualities of being the president you don't, you don't need safe. you don't need any qualification there's no qualification to be a president anybody can run i can get up one day and run you can sue it's all the matter of if the people want to vote for you right mm -hmm. so i do like this bill Me that too. things are changing in nigeria finally kudos to nigeria and kudos to you President Buhari, can we just give him this one or we still not going to give him anything give at all? Give him what? At least give him this one. He's, he's trying. What do you Listen, want, my He's trying. All so for me, I think, you know, there's a change coming and I, I like this. I like I this mean, a lot. I, I mean, knowing fully well that he's about, uh, and we're gonna, about to have the next election yes. or his next tenure, he's not even being selfish to mm -hmm. consider the fact that he's giving younger people the opportunity to run because a lot of but youths have, been, but a lot of youths have been, been crying and saying enough is enough. So I think for him to even sign that bill at but all, he's but, something good. To but don't let that go into mm. your head so much. Because mm. let me tell you this, mm. based on my own experience, these politicians in Africa, these politicians in Ghana, in Nigeria, they tend to do a lot of things when um, their time is almost up. Mm. That's when they come out and be like, look, I'm building favors, this. And they're right. not going to finish it all. Mm. They're going to be like, oh, look, I'm building this bridge. I'm so, building this road. So, so vote, vote for me again, and then I'll finish, finish it. it right. So you, you cannot point. let that go in, get into your head listen, too much. Listen, and yeah. thank, thank you for pointing that out. This, You're welcome. This is wonderful. It's amazing. It's a beautiful law. If... Like, if, like everything else in Nigeria, it will work to our benefit. Mm -hmm. Pay attention that this is not changing the electoral process in Nigeria whatsoever. This is just changing a lot. But does that mean that only 25-year-olds are going to run or only 35-year-olds are going to run for president? Mm -hmm. No. Because guess what? The average 35-year-old ain't got the money to run a campaign, to run a Nigerian presidential campaign. campaign. Because, first of all, they uh -uh, they will let you. Oh, you're older. Oh, sure. Come on in. But party ticket is a millionaire. You got a millionaire? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this is not going to change much unless they break all that corruption that is stopping people from getting to that level. Do you understand? May stop making it a money politics thing, then this can work. But for politics. as long as we have still we still have money politics and money elections, you're mm. still bribing people to vote. Well, all that's gonna happen is that their kids who they've pumped all their stolen money into will now use that stolen money to do campaign and then you'll see people that look like us that uh, all the people I went to school with exactly all the people I went to school with their yeah, daddy's their position all of them are running for president and uh, running for girls social government position but they're the same thing and guess what they those people love to pay attention to respect daddy's wishes That's daddy okay. got you elected you go and run the government the way daddy wants you to run it but I, in Africa I don't think Africa needs such rules never too young to run bill i think what we need is the age limit because i'm sick yeah. and tired of seeing 60 16 6 116 year Check old sleeping and can't even get up in the morning to you, clock in you, and work you realize, that i can't stand you you realize that we always say forward ever backwards never and all of these things but we are like the only continent that has 90 year old people people that are literally really dying Leading mm -hmm. our and country, when America, when America, where like America is like the best country in the world, growing so rapidly, everything is great here. And we have how old was Obama when he went in office? Forty four. Mm, Obama. Uh, yeah, I think he was like forty four when he went in office. I think Kennedy was forty two. When you like so so then, I, think, I, think, okay. I think for for Africa we need age limits. Mm-hmm. Yes. That last birthday. Retire. Retire. People retire at the age of sixty. That's what we need. Too old to rule. <laughs> Limit yeah. should be sixty-five. Bunk All right, right. so we're gonna move on retire. to Kenya. Let's go to Kenya. What? So uh, one popular actress, Jacqueline Nyamide, she's a actress in Kenya, revealed that her nanny nearly infected her son with HIV virus. What? Yes. Which what? How? How? Okay, so this is what happened. She received an anonymous call. She was uh, outside Kenya shooting a movie or working. And she received a call one day. And the call said, you need to come down right now. Your nanny is breastfeeding your son. Jeez. And knowing that, knowing that um, her nanny had HIV, she took the next flight. I'm telling you, the next but, flight. Sorry, Hold on, let me finish sorry, with the story. Let me finish with the story. She... she Took the next flight, came in 
straight up took the son to the hospital to check what's going on. Hmm. Thankfully, the son is okay. The son does not have the Listen, virus anymore. If there's child protective services in Kenya, they need to arrest this mother ASAP. Hmm. She needs to be arrested yesterday. As a mom, there is no freaking way. Mm. There is no way in hell my son's nanny is going to have HIV. Mm. That is way That's too wrong. close. Right, and, so nanny, a and nanny is very close to the child, feeding the child, bathing the child. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. HIV, you can contact it when fluid, fluid. It doesn't have to be through sexual. Right. You know what I mean? Sometimes your kid gets close, so close with your nanny. Like, my mom has watched Caleb, like, his whole life. And they're so close. Like, she'll kiss him, stuff like that. You mm. don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm. She needs to be arrested with this actress ASAP. Like, We're yesterday. not saying that people that have HIV cannot get employment or cannot mingle in the society mm -hmm. but when it comes to sensitive issues like being a nanny to no. a baby that's a no no yes i have to say though it has been proven that um, women living with hiv aids whatever can can pass the virus along through breastfeeding my wow. question is my question to you guys is when i read this i'm like wait so so what if she didn't even have HIV. Is it normal for somebody Don't to get breast to breastfeed another woman's baby? baby? Is it normal? Is I'm it normal in Nigeria? Because right. I want to know. Which kind normal? Yeah. 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 Listen, yeah. Have, yeah. even if you don't have HIV, I'm gonna strangle. Why are you putting yeah. your breast in my child's mouth? Yeah. That's disgusting. I mean, but I don't, do I don't know. Like. I, I know, know that there's a wet nurse. There used to be wet nurses. But I'm not into it. I'm not. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. But like my sister and I were so close. It's like when she, I had my son first. And then when she had her son, I would jokingly like try to confuse him that I was his mom. And sometimes I would, you know, like pretend like I'm breastfeeding. But, family, that's your I think. but that's like your, that's what I'm saying. I mean, sister. I don't know that's what was different. going down if she was trying to like calm the baby down or whatever. We but I'm breast. sorry. I'm I'm not but prejudiced against out, any group of people, but HIV should not be watching a baby. Mm -hmm. It's different if you're babysitting like a nine year old, a ten year old. Different. That's a, a grown kid. But a baby that you have to continuously care for, bathe, wash their private parts. I think this is where she was coming from. Um she's a single mother and I feel like the nanny is very, very like awesome, like does everything. But but breastfeeding was like you you're, put your child you're at taking, that is negligence. Yes, you're it is taking, a crime. Negligence. It is a crime. As a mother, you're supposed to protect your child. That is what you're there for. And what she did was a very negligent act. And I wish she was living in America so they could arrest her butt and put her butt and take her child away. I just want to play Seriously. devil's advocate real quick because a lot of us don't get enough education. Yes, we know about HIV. Yes, we know about AIDS. Some people can't even differentiate between the HIV and an AIDS. Some people can't do that. I feel, I feel like we need to educate them more. This nanny probably didn't know that you can transfer the virus. She probably thought... I'm not having sex with the baby. I'm just breastfeeding, right? So, like, people, a lot of people don't know how these things can be trans, you know, tra transferred from right. one, one one body to the next. So we need more. We need more education. We need to teach people that listen. This HIV can be spread in so so many ways. Mm -hmm. So I think that's where she was also coming from as well. She also said she fired the nanny the um the next day. The Since, next day. It should have been that same. But day. that's what I'm saying. Is that like. Hmm. Let's be serious. We talk about this thing all the time about being a mother and what it's like to really be a mother. She fired a nanny the next day. This lady needs parents in classes. She needs like to see a therapist. She is not mentally stable. I am sorry, you Who guys. Who's not me. mentally stable? The mother. The mother. The mother. The mother went away to get money. He's a single. She's but a then single she mother. came back and took her child to the hospital. I would have came back before. I mean, before you take your child to the office. I would have been like, lady, you need to pack all your stuff. You need to get out of my house. I'm done. Before I even take the boy to the hospital. Because at this point, it is not about if my son has HIV or not. It is that you put my child at risk. That is where the, that is what the point is. So yeah. she waited to go to the hospital to make sure the kid doesn't have HIV before firing the lady. But and I'm still then, and then talking about yeah. education, which I agree with, even the mother and mothers also need education because she was supposed to have put down some rules. Ground rules. Like, exactly. don't do this. She needs don't do this to my class. child. Uh -huh. Don't do this. Don't do that. Like she needs parents in class. In I understand. I can completely me. I am. I, I appreciate the fact that she wants to be inclusive. You know, end stigma for HIV and AIDS patients. That that's all well and good. But there has to be, especially when you're dealing with people that are not as educated as the rest of us. There has to be some ground rules and setting. Do you understand? Don't be nice to the detriment of your. She's own not self. the only Africa, one. How many times have? These nannies and these maids in Africa have Don't. sex with our, our boys. I most know, of my friends, most of the, my most friends, of our friends lost their virginity 
to the main. My cousin, you know who you are. You lost your virginity to Tommy. They really, they really do a lot of high rocks. I know so many boys. I know so many boys back then. They said that the first person they fired was was the main. And I'm just like, you know, you know that you can also be raped, right? You know this, right? That's crazy. So they were raped by the main, but they don't look at it like they were raped by the main. But this is because in Africa, a lot of us are cheap and like we want to go the cheap route. There are agencies in Africa that you can hire trained maids. Exactly. There are agencies that you can hire trained babysitters. Oh, train everybody wants to go to the You bring them to the village. village. From the village. That's what people want to do. You want to get them from uh, the village. This is the result. Result. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, um, actress Jacqueline Yamide, we thank God that your son is okay. And, and you need some lessons. Oh my ASAP. goodness. We're gonna move on to the next topic. Odera. Speaking of babies, I have very good news. Techno. Mm. Techno. And Lola Ray, welcome. Lola Ray. I love Lola Ray, by the welcome. way. So what happened? They welcomed their new baby. Aww. Did That's you hear cute. this girl was pregnant? Did anybody know that this girl was I pregnant? I had no I, idea. I kind of knew because she stayed out of um, the media, stayed out of dropping singles, stayed out of performing for a couple of months. She went silent. And you know she signed to DMW, Davido Music Worldwide. Mm -hmm. So oh, she signed for, to Davido? For, for, to be a Davido artist, Davido, all his artists are out there. But Lola was just... So we were wondering, where is Lola? Why are you so quiet? What's happening? Could you be pregnant? And then this just came out. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know this. Like, I knew that she had stopped posting for a while because I follow her. I think she's gorgeous. I can look at her I, all that's, that's what day. I was waiting for you she's guys to finish to say. She leg. is very beautiful. I can't even believe she's Nigerian. She is like... What do you mean yes, by that? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean by that? What do you mean you can't believe she's Nigerian? But anyway, oh let me say this. Did you hear that? Most beautiful Nigerian women that I meet are very, very beautiful. I They're like stunningly they beautiful. No, it's like you guys don't have in between. It's like they're either oh, really you're pretty to save or shy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's so my opinion. I love them together, but Techno, I wanna. Who who is Techno referring to? Are you referring to the baby being the strongest and you love the yeah, baby? Yeah, the baby that just came. Refer, are, are you referring to Lola? I never. I I thought he was single. I, I didn't know. Was, Lola, I didn't know they were together. No, I never knew. Do you know what Techno does? His page is about him, but. Every year for the past two years on Lola's birthday, you must see Lola on his Instagram. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, so sweet. I day. love yeah. him. Happy birthday. Even yeah. though without his without his dog face, I'm like Lola Ray, really, <laughs> girl, you are gorgeous. You could have anybody in this world. You All he needs to do is fix the teeth. So you know how you the new song. They say Namoni be fine, but but when but you have money, have money like that. When you have money, have money like success, is okay. success is attractive. But did you see the comment that Techno left on her page what? and he said my own um for this one you deserve bentley for assurance or something yeah. wow. he wrote like a comment lifetime, like that like yeah. he lifetime he put something mm. higher than a porsche i was like hey yeah. lady don't come take no um, also there was some controversy um insta blog sn snapped a comment that this popular blogger noble igwe um wrote under this p picture when they posted it like oh that oh that's cute she and you stopped your career to have his baby um, you know, like kind of putting mm. in our face, yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah, he's yeah, been yeah. working, we've been seeing techno, he's going around, everybody been wondering where Lola Ray is, meanwhile she's in the house trying to have a baby, and your career was just stopped. Yeah, and it's just bad, like, yeah. that's, these are the reasons why I'm afraid of marriage, I'm afraid of babies, because if she's right, she now, we've, nobody has heard music from her, she was on a pace, she was getting up there, she started dating this boy, and she started spending so much time, so you say that techno is, she does techno doesn't put her, but she was filling her whole Instagram with techno, she was really into techno, and now she's not making music, and now, obviously, if she could take nine months and not post anything, not make music, you know that she's going to be so dedicated to this babe, and her career is just going to go down, but she's not like, listen, you know she's not like Tiwa, Tiwa, Tiwa put an uh, put in a very big effort, and Tiwa has the people. Do you understand? But this girl seems to be somebody that she's gonna be more into her baby than her career, and that kind of hurts me. Like you, you had so much promise, and it's not even like you got married and you're doing this. You're like just a baby out of nowhere. But you know what, no, she's not That is a now. personal choice. Exactly. That is a choice that she made. Because can I say something, Cardi B? Is oh pregnant. My not Cardi B. <laughs> no, honestly, no, no, I'm sick and tired of. Let me make my point. Let me make my Use point. Use another person. Let me make my no, point. No, she's the perfect Let me example. Make my point. Right the now. point I'm making is Cardi B <laughs> was at the peak. Is at the peak of her <laughs> career and did not let a baby stop her. The girl toured all season. She she filmed several music videos. She was able to hide her baby bump. Lola Ray could have done the same if she wanted to. But Choice. Africans, we have the stigma that we don't want people to know we're pregnant and blah 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 and yada yada yada. She could have. That is a personal choice. Baby and I. 
I know Nick, someone like Nicki Minaj, I know because she made a, a statement recently about having kids and boyfriends engaging her and that. I know Nicki Minaj sits back now and it's like, damn, I could have done the same thing. You know, a lot of women choose their careers over having kids, thinking that a kid could stop you. A kid does not stop you. If it does anything, it motivates you. Even your friend Kaziah, she graduated college recently, and I saw the post on Instagram where all her friends were writing under the comment, I don't know her that well on a personal level, but all her friends wrote under it that the, they, they noticed that the baby made her stronger, that the baby actually made her I go back to school. You wrote that. Other yes. people wrote, right. other people wrote yes. it as well. You know, and it was the same for me. I was mm -hmm. just modeling and living the New York City life mm -hmm. before I got pregnant. And getting pregnant, I put my ass right back in school, graduated on time, mm -hmm. and graduated honors. So it's mm -hmm. all about you, the person. A baby does not stop you or hold at you all. back. All it's right. up to you I don't know why you, you guys are saying that, you know, she went away gave for up nine months and gave up. You don't know all of that. Down. You don't know Jack. All right? You're just seeing it like that. It all boils down to what is important for, for you. Her. Some people, the career is important more for them than babies. And some people, yes. too, the babies are more right. important for them. Yeah. And some people, it's right. both. So for me, Lola, Lola, Lola Ray, I think where she was coming from is, listen, I made that hit song. I made this. Now it's time for me to do this. You said that hit song is like only one. Yeah, but no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, I never that. knew her. It wasn't for you techno, can, You can take really? a break. You can, I never knew what she, she was. You can take a break and come back. I think she's, she can come back. She can. She can. She one thing you should understand about power couples is that when both of you are successful and a baby comes in, it's a personal decision. Well, yes. So they are not married, <laughs> but... But to an extent, Techno's career is so successful to the yes. extent that if Techno jumps on your song, just like Whiskey, that song is going to blow it's up. It's going to be I'm a not going to call names. So be, dating somebody like Techno and they're both into music and she decided to take this break, I feel like if she comes back, they it's will still going to be big. They will be just I fine. They will be just fine. Just that she's too much friendlier than him. That's what I guess. I but let us know in the... Maybe you feel like she can be better and she can have a bigger career and that this is holding her back. But like, you, but it's her way. personal she, choice. Let me look at my clock. She has you have time. No watch. She has time. Imagine she's not twenty something. Watch. Get into it. <laughs> she has time. She will come back. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on these topics. As usual, we uh, love you for watching. Until next time, you're watching the ABS yes, show. This show. is Mina TV. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.